Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for May 25th through May 31st. And as you notice, I'm in a different setting. Um, I'm at my sister's house. She got a new puppy a few weeks ago and she had to take him to the vet. So I am here babysitting my niece. All right, so yeah, so um, this week what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what's going on for you overall, all right? So we're gonna take a look at basically where you're at right now. Where you're at right now, what behaviors are currently contributing to where you're at, all right? We're also gonna look at, we're gonna use a, Kind of a different deck today um we're gonna use a regular tarot deck and then we're gonna use a new visions tarot deck which kind of can give us like a different or a new perspective give us some different um feedback Okay, all right, so let's start right here. Let's start with where you're at right now. So what do we have? All right, we're not doing reversals. All right, so we have Ace of Cups. So you might feel in some way that you're on the brink of new love here, or there might be, this might be a renewed love in some way, okay? But either way, you have a cup of love for somebody here, all right? So let's see, what is this Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups showing up for Pisces? Four of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is renewed love. Why? Because we have the Ace of Cups that lingers in the Four of Cups. So, this might be a situation where you broke up with somebody or you left somebody or somebody left you. Um, you, might be, you might be starting to see the opportunity with this Ace of Cups. Somebody might have offered you their cup of love in some way at some point and you might have rejected it. <coughs> All right, or they might have rejected your cup of love at some point, but for some reason, you still have this Ace of Cups in your energy right now. That's possibly what you're focused on as of right now. So let's take a look at the New Visions tarot deck, all right, and see what comes up. You'll see that the, the artwork is a little bit different. Okay, so we have the hangman here. Okay, so the hangman, as you know, um, is about being hung up or, you know, needing to look at things from a new perspective. And this is about looking at your cup of love for somebody in a new way. You know, you can see in this particular um, deck here that You've got a lot of people, I mean, this is the, the view from behind the gentleman that is hung up as the hangman. You can see that he's being shamed, okay? This might be, this might be happening to you. You might feel a sense of shame, but this is spirit basically saying, you know, that you can't listen to this. You need to look at this from a different perspective, okay? And I feel like that's happening for you. I feel like you are seeing this cup of love that you have for somebody or that somebody has for you. But this might have all transpired in some way because you might have felt shame over something. You might feel embarrassed over something. This could also be embarrassment as well. But either way, you are still hung up on somebody. 
So let's see. What behaviors are contributing to where you are at? Knight of Wands. All right, so card of Sagittarius. All right, so you might not have known where your heart was committed, okay, at one point. That's what is contributing to this energy. You might have had feelings for more than one person. You, you really, you might have had opportunities. You might have been dating. <coughs> you might have been dating multiple people. But you really, you know, you, you just didn't know where your heart was committed. And that, at the base of it, is what is contributing, okay, to where you're at right now, okay? So let's get a card on why the Knight of Wands. Five of Wands, okay, this is confirming. You know, the Five of Wands, you might have been conflicted over, you know, who you were truly interested in, who you had a cup of love for, you might have really not known where you stand with these people in your life or, you know, a certain person in your life. And that is what's contributing to where you're at right now. So let's get a card from the New Visions deck. All right, we have the Judgment card. <clears throat> so... What's different about this particular judgment card in the new vision is that in the traditional tarot, the woman and the man are both facing this angel in the sky. In other words, they're expecting divine reconciliation. But now we have both of these, this woman and this man facing each other. So I feel like there's going to be a face-to-face -face confrontation or conversation that brings you back together with somebody. That's the new perspective that you have to look at this in, all right? Wherever your heart's committed to, I feel like that's where this conversation is going to happen, okay? So how are you viewing love right now? Wow, there's the judgment card. You are heavily in the energy of wanting or expecting a reconciliation with somebody, okay? And you can see the difference, right? You can see that both of these people are looking up at the divine and here they're looking at each other. All right, so let's see. Let's get a card. Why judgment for love? All right, so we have the Five of Cups. So I do feel like when, you're, when we're looking at love for you, you are expecting to go back to somebody or have somebody come back to you. And it's somebody that you currently are very sad about losing and that you still have a tie or a connection to with the Two of Cups, right? You know, the Two of Cups lingers in the Five of Cups. I tend to be a positive reader, okay? So that's how I always see not only the Four of Cups, which you have, but the Five of Cups as well. You know, even though something was lost, you lost something, they might have lost something too, which might have been you. But this Two of Cups connection continues on. It still exists. All right, so let's get a new Visions card. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups. So <clears throat> what might be really difficult, I see difficulty here when we're talking about love. Somebody, you can see in this particular Eight of Cups, you can see the fireworks in the background. Somebody celebrated you potentially losing somebody, okay? Or you walking away from somebody. There was almost celebration. Somebody was very happy about that, okay? So 
that could indicate, again, with the Knight of Wands, that there could have been a third person involved here in some way. All right, so when it comes to love, you might have had, <coughs> excuse me, you might have had to walk away from somebody that you truly had feelings for, or somebody had to walk away from you that truly, deeply had feelings for you, okay? Either way, it was not easy. Five of Cups. All right, so let's take a look right here. What would describe your current person? Page of Swords. All right, so somebody in your life, all right, might have caused some drama, okay? There, again, I feel like for some of you, there's more than two people involved here, and there was some drama that ensued here between you and somebody and possibly other people. Why the Page of Swords? Why this drama? Queen of Swords. I feel like somebody was dramatically cut off. And this is you. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's Libra. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just did the Libra reading. Um, Queen of Swords, Libra. So there might have been a Libra that caused some drama in your um, particular situation, number one. Number two, somebody was dramatically cut off. And that also could have been a Libra. You might have cut them off. They might have cut you off. It could go either way. All right, so let's get a new vision for what describes your person. All right, Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> so the reason that this drama happened here or you know, either you or this or your person was definitely giving to more than one person. The give and take was off here. Somebody was cut off because of it. I feel like there was a lot of drama here. Other people might have been aware of it. Other people might have shamed you, might have shamed the other person. And you know what? Nobody has a right to do that, okay? Nobody has a right to shame you and nobody has a right to, to shame anybody. The only reason that these other people are aware of the situation at all is probably because at some point you might have shared your situation. All right. All right, so let's see what we have here. How do you see your person right now? Seven of Cups. All right, so that could indicate a couple of things, right? You might be, you might see your person as confused. You might see your person as one of many choices that you might have in love, okay? And that's definitely realistic with this particular reading for sure. Um, why are we getting the Seven of Cups for how you see your person? Two of Swords, because they might be blocking their heart right now to you. You might be blocking your heart to them. So it's natural to think that this person is looking at other options, looking at other choices. Maybe they should be. All right, maybe you should be. But I'm not here to tell you what you should do. So let's see. Let's get the world. So the world card of Capricorn, you might be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? This card has been coming up a lot. So basically what this is saying here, you know, in the traditional tarot, when we see this card, it can be about a satisfying ending, a satisfying coming together, okay? But it, it happens because we have faith. You might see your person as having lost faith, having lost faith in you, having lost faith in a successful coming together between the two of you, okay? And your person may have lost faith, okay? Because they might feel like your heart is blocked, 
their heart might be blocked. And truthfully, this person might be dating or you might be dating. You might be, you know, going through choices that you might have when it comes to a love relationship, right? So finally, what do we have here? What's next? What's next for Pisces? Wow, Queen of Cups, love. This feels like a choice. But it also feels like a choice of love from the past. You can see that this Queen of Swords or Queen of Cups is facing in this direction here, which is towards the past. So it feels like a past love is next for you. So that's why the Ace of Cups was coming up as renewed love in some way. You might not have gotten very far in a particular connection, and now it's being renewed. It's a renewed love of the past. Somebody that you loved. Somebody that loved you. All right, so why the Queen of Cups? All right, so we have, we have Nine of Wands. So... One way or the other, this past love, definitely you went through a, a battle with this person in some way, all right? Because you feel wounded. You feel wounded, but you also feel in love when it comes to this person. All right? All right, so what do we have here? You feel wounded. Death card, card of Scorpio, because there was a dramatic ending. There just was. I mean, these readings today have been very clear. And I'm also not going into a ton of depth. I'm just, I'm reading the, the base information that comes to me. Okay, so it should be very clear. It's either going to resonate or it's not. All right, so Pisces... You're very cautious. You might be very suspicious of a Scorpio in particular. Queen of Cups, also Scorpio. So for a lot of you, or for some of you, there might be a Scorpio that you're involved in specifically. But you're cautious because there was a dramatic ending. All right, so let's take a look at these cards here. What do we have? Someone admits an attraction for you. Okay, so this might be somebody saying they're still attracted to you, they still love you. Or this might be somebody, this might be one of the Seven of Cups choices, okay? And I want to say as if you need it right now, okay? And then we have, there's a feeling of a shift in your everyday reality coming. So, again... It feels like this reconciliation energy is coming your way. That's going to be the shift. And then we have a friend who wants more than friendship. So if there was an ending here in some way that took it from romantic relationship to friendship, I feel like it's going now from friendship to a romantic relationship. All right, so let's end this reading with a couple of oracle cards, one for you and one for your person. My niece is autistic. If you hear that noise in the background, it's just her, she's nonverbal. So um, yeah, so I apologize if you hear that. All right, so one for you. And one for your person. Let's see, for you, we have, look at, ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversaries. Hmm. I'll leave that to you, but that sounds very positive. And then for your person, we have self-confidence, through God confidence. I love this card. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So 
It feels like the universe and God is working through your person in some way, perhaps for your benefit, but definitely for theirs as well. Okay, so you might be in a little bit of a difficult situation or you've been through something and it is, I feel like it's coming to a head. It's, the pot is boiling because there's a reconciliation here on the horizon. All right, so get ready. All right, Pisces, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Thanks. Bye.